In the past, we were getting some of the best Naruto games ever, such as Naruto Rise of Ninja. Oh, you remember that one. Ultimate Ninja Storm, a mega masterpiece. Clash of Ninja, an absolute classic, and, and that's... That's pretty much it. Oh, you can't forget Blazing! But the standards have been set so high by these games that it just may, that it just may be impossible for the next game to surpass it. I mean, look at Shinobi Strikers, which is the latest one. Today, I'm not here to talk about the Naruto games of the past. No, no, sorry! I am here to talk about the future. The future we all Narutards want, but will never have. As an open world game, a game like Spider-Man, or a game like Zelda Breath of the Wild, or maybe, just maybe, even an RPG like King Kingdom Hearts or Final Fantasy. Something we can all be proud of playing. Something that feels rich. So I found this fan-made Naruto game called Project Shinobi. It's made by someone called Osirix. And looking at the screenshots, you can already see the passion and dedication to this game. And I think it's made by one person. The first impression this game gave me was, Damn! This looks a lot like Star Wars Battlefront 2. Which is a good thing, because I love Battlefront 2. So the first thing I did was the tutorial. I highly recommend it. Because there's a lot you can do in this game. And there's a lot of buttons you gotta memorize. Also, this game has a single player story, which I'm going to try. <laughs> and also, there's a multiplayer, but uh, that's still in development. So yeah. But first, I did the tutorial. Win in the game! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Look how good it looks! But at but what, what cost? cost? As you can see, we have a health bar and a chakra bar along with a map and a Minecraft hood. Yeah, it's laggy. And this is just the tutorial stage. So as I said, there's many things you can do in this game, such as <coughs> normal attacks with some combos. You can guard from enemy attacks and juices. Throw kunai knives, shadow clone juices. You can control this Rasengan. Oh shit, you can do a Rasengan? <laughs> I'm shut shit! I'm the shit! Oh my god, you can run with it. Release the shit! Gain more chakra so you can do more juices. A massive person guy that's going to destroy my PC. A jumping normal aerial rasen. A tail beast rasen shuriken. A bigger shadow queen juice with more noble. And oh, my favorite, the classic, the summoning juice. Oh! <laughs> Look at my big fan! <laughs> Go get him, Gamagachi. Again, you can also do a substitution juicy to dodge enemy attacks, jump from trees to other trees, and you can wall run. Is there anything you can't do in this game? Bandai, what the f? You have a blueprint here. Make this an actual game. And wait for it, it gets even more crazy. You can destroy a tree and buildings, destructible environments. BATTLEFIELD SHITS! Bandai? Toshi? Anyone? Why haven't you made a game like this? <sighs> Did I also mention that you can fly and turn into the nine tails fox? Oh my god, you can fly! <laughs> you can fly in this game! I am surprised. I This is this is fan-made. Look at me. I'm using the nine tails fox! <laughs> yeah, oh shit! You can shit shoot out of the mouth! What? <laughs> I don't even know what I just said there. This game has everything! So that was the tutorial stage. Now, for the real deal. The open world map. Look how good it looks! It just, it looks so beautiful! I have never seen Naruto in this kind of environment. There isn't much you can do just yet in the open world. However, it does have the full Head and Leaf Village and it's explodable. You can explore this. It has the training grounds and a Sasano just standing there. I did try transforming into the Ninetales Fox just to see if I can fight it. Come on Sasuke! It's just me and you! You Uchiha piece of shit! Come on! But nope, <laughs> not not yet. I understand. The game is still in development. I also tried to raid the village with the Ninetales Fox. But again, I, uh, I couldn't. Because this game has destructible environments, it would be amazing if I can just destroy the village. After just messing about for a while, <laughs> I realized that there are missions in this game. And I did try this one story mission that was to go ahead and find and uh, battle the one and only the legend the myth the icon Itachi Uchiha basically you have to go ahead and talk to Kakashi he will then give you a waypoint in which you have to follow oh I, I found him oh, oh my god I found him no shit this looks so good this, I'm, I'm, I'm fighting Itachi I am fighting Itachi in the open world oh, wow, wow this this is this is this is hype like I, I am enjoying this 
<laughs> he can he can do it to Sukiyomi. Oh, wow. wow, he actually added the Tsukiyomi Genji. Wow, this is this is this is awesome. Oh my god, oh my god, there we go. <laughs> what is he? Why is he dead like that? What's going on, Dodgy? <laughs> Are you okay? I'm sorry. This is so this is so embarrassing. I'm sorry, Tachi. Why does he look like that? I'm gonna have to give you guys some sad news. A game like this will probably never happen due to many reasons. One of them being that uh Naruto is finished. So there's no reason for these anime game publishers to go all out on something they think is irrelevant. Which is so stupid! <laughs> because Naruto is still is still popular, but just I guess not popular enough. There's still so much money to be made from Naruto. Milk that ninja twat! Milk him with all he has! But hey, I could be wrong. And they could slap me in the face with a Red Dead Redemption level, expensive, rich, cinematic Naruto game. Or, or we can get a bubble tapping mobile game instead. <laughs> <laughs> 